Wack is tired of how folks are characterizing this controversial criminal case. Wack 100 always offers his hot takes and assessments on hip-hop's legal situations, but sometimes he talks about other criminal cases in wider society. For example, he recently joined No Jumper and spoke about the Menendez brothers' case and people advocating for their release from prison. If you didn't know, a court convicted Joseph and Eric Menendez of murder in 1996 and gave them life sentences for killing their parents in Beverly Hills back in 1989. The conversation around them these days stems from new information, appeals, and reflections that resulted in many calling for their release, as they allegedly acted in self-defense due to their parents' abuse. That's something that WAC can't get behind. Nah, don't let them out. WAC 100 expressed on No Jumper with Adam 22 concerning the Menendez brothers. I'm a tell you why. Listen, they say all that happened. This is the problem I got. If y'all gone, let the Menendez brothers out. For overkill murder. If you're going to let them out because they were at 18 and 21 years old. Let out all those black and brown people in there whose daughter said, Dad, when I was nine, the neighbor did this or uncle such did this, and the dad went over there and killed them and is doing life in jail. In addition, WAC 100 posited that US law doesn't account for after-the-fact murder for other crimes that happened to that murderer. He suggested that the situation would be different if the Menendez brothers committed murder while their parents were in the middle of abusing them, not the premeditated murder that prosecutors characterized this as. Most importantly for the music executive, he called out double standards when it comes to other folks' incarceration that faced similar situations. As for other WAC 100 takes, he recently explained what he called a misinterpreted claim about Drake sending Kendrick Lamar a cease and desist to prevent him from performing Not Like Us during his Super Bowl halftime show. On multiple occasions, WAC has claimed that he never directly issued this accusation. We'll see if he walks back his Menendez brothers' assessment one day as well.